Hello Calm Class 238. I go by the name of Pushy6 as I have built an entire brand around the Caterpillar D6T. I have over 15 years in the heavy civil industry specializing in dozers. I've ran everything from Komatsu D39 up to the Komatsu D475A, Caterpillar D6T to the D11T. The Caterpillar D6T there's a lot of parts in North America in stock. Not only that, but there's a lot of other companies that uh, make aftermarket parts for Caterpillar as well as the Caterpillar D6T. Low drive versus high drive. The D65 has the low drive, while the D6T has the high drive. What's the difference? Well, Cat designed the high drive to take the actual machine weight off of the final drive and transfer that weight to the track frame and undercarriage components. This saves a lot of wear and tear on the final drive and the planetary system inside. Comfort. In the Caterpillar D6T, well all Caterpillars, the seat is slightly angled to the right. What this does is it gives you better perspective and a better view of your corner bits on your cutting edge. Not only that, but when you're ripping, you only have to turn your head. On the D65, the seat is straight. When ripping, you have to turn your back and your neck to see what you're ripping. Joysticks. Now for the blade control on a Komatsu, you have the joystick. And to angle your blade, let's say on a V-pad style blade, you have to actually turn that joystick with your hand. Doing that all day long is very hard on your wrist and your arm. Versus the Caterpillar with the V-pad style blade, it has uh, a new system called Power Tilt. It's a little thumb switch right there. Makes it much easier. Most operators prefer Caterpillar. Their calves are a lot more comfortable and set up better for operators. The Caterpillar D6T and for the most part Cat in general always have a higher drawbar pull force. What this is, it measures the weight with friction force. CAT, in general, has the best resale value out of any other brand.